Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I want to talk about the whole gun thing. Believe it or not, you see it on the internet a lot right now uh, because of the mass shooting in Florida, of course. And so anytime something like this happens, you have two main camps, right? You have the people on this side who are saying, guns need to be illegal, no one should be allowed to have a gun. And you have these other people on this side saying, what? No, the Constitution protects guns and absolutely no laws or restrictions on guns. Right, and of course, both sides are being completely stupid and extreme, okay? The real solution is somewhere down the middle, okay? This just makes sense. Now, first of all, I'm all about personal freedom and personal liberty. I think people should be allowed to own guns. I just think there needs to be tighter laws and restrictions on it, okay? Now, did you know that you, you can walk into a store and plunk down the money and walk out with an AK-47? It's that easy, no questions asked, they don't even give a shit. Uh, even if you're not old enough to buy beer yet, you can walk in and buy an AK-47, or in this kid's case, an AR-15. It really is that easy. And so that's just irresponsible, that's what I'm saying. That needs to be fixed a little bit. I'm not saying take guns away from anybody, okay? Just make it a little bit tougher to get them, right? There should be some controls in place. Now people, of course, have to come out and say, yeah, well, uh, he wants to get a gun, he'll get a gun, and criminals will get guns. You're just taking guns away from law-abiding citizens. And yeah, okay, first of all, I'm not taking guns away from anybody. I'm not advocating that. And yeah, criminals can still get guns. Okay, but we're not talking about ISIS or MS-13 here. We're talking about some high school kid, okay? I really doubt that he has the CD Underworld connections and the thousand dollars to plunk down to get an AR-15 illegally. That's why he went into the store and bought one legally. Okay? And also people say, well, if someone's going to murder somebody, they're going to do it whether they have to use a gun or not. You can kill somebody with a knife or a baseball bat. And that's true. That's true. You know, for example, I have this sword here, you know. But I'll bet you I'll be real hard pressed to walk into a mall or a school and kill 20 or 30 people with this thing before somebody stops me, okay? But give me an AK-47 and that's a whole different animal. I will mow you motherfuckers down. Now, I don't even have to get close to you. And when I run out of ammo, I'll just put another magazine in there. And I will keep blowing people away until something happens that stops me, right? That's a whole different animal. If you don't see that connection, the difference between this and an AK-47, then you are being willfully stupid, okay? You have to admit that it is a whole different animal. Okay, another good example is fully automatic weapons. We're talking about actual machine guns. Those aren't illegal either. Okay, I actually know people who are allowed to own and uh, buy fully automatic weapons. And they're registered and they're licensed. They have to take special training classes and be registered to own them. Okay, so they're out there. You can still get them. But have you noticed that in these mass shootings, you almost never throughout my entire lifetime have seen fully automatic weapons used in violent crime. And the reason is because they're so damn hard to get and they're so expensive. Now yeah, if you know a guy who knows a guy and you have $20,000 to plumb down, you could probably get one, right? But it's a whole lot more rare, okay, than these over-the-counter semi-automatic versions that, like I said, you don't even have to be old enough to buy beer. You can walk in and walk out with one at Walmart. You can go to Walmart and buy a semi-automatic weapon, okay? So the point of this video is just that we need some laws in place, okay? Tighter restrictions. I mean, there's tighter restrictions on fucking owning and operating a car than there is for uh, buying an AK-47 or an AR-15. And that's just stupid, okay? Stupid. That needs to be fixed. And so I've said my piece and I'm out of here and uh, take it easy.